hello students uh, I welcome you to my this course uh, well this course is uh, about uh, information gathering so we just named that uh, Google hacking exploit databases so we are looking forward to into the more deeper and deeper so let's first look up to some slides so that I have and we will go uh, directly to the practical all right so this is more important before you're going for cybersecurity or uh, any joining any courses uh, related to uh, uh, information gathering or someone like uh, ethical hacking or anywhere but the possibility will be help you any domain you're working for uh, you may have any websites you may need to analyze or uh, get some information from the web or so on google so google actually doesn't tell you to have what information you are asking for they will uh, provide you the information the clients it depends upon the location depends upon the climate and depends upon a lot of things so we will look up to that and let's not waste of time and just let's start it with information gathering with google first select terms that i use is that uh, a hacking google database is not actually like regarding the hacking but it's still right now like a uh, crawling through the google databases so we have a lot of bunch of amounts of data in the google server so what are we doing in that google stands to get a, get a client's data and that will be indexed as like a page so it will be right google what did they do that it will write a page it will uh, look so it's simple example that you have a page of book right so what do you do uh, you do write something like a topic on the above heater pile and the below is there a container data whatever so that's simple like it is called index so that's google indexes into their servers and they will show you by the topic name you are searching for so let's see so uh, whatever i'm going to show you in this first slide is that i'm explaining uh, all the things how does indexing and google information will work so uh, seo uh, you might have heard that uh, search engine optimization a lot of people are uh, those having a websites or something like uh, they are wanted to make their website on top and prioritize so what they are uh, looking for in the SEO that is keyword so possibly what are we looking for the information gathering is about the keywords so we are waiting for to play with a lot of keywords and I will show you the some of the websites those uh, give you an information about the uh, websites information about how you can search and more pro like uh, more proficient and apparently you can get a lot of databases from the google with this search and i'm going to show you this is a no uh, not anyone you can, uh, can tell you this is information how to uh, travel through the web so let's start in the next slide so welcome back so information gathering with google is that actually to talk and demonstrate the variety of information which is possible to access so it is a sophisticated mechanism to get an exact and certain result which are looking for into the tens of websites and tons of information that google indexes right so let's start with the next general information uh why google so it's only return pages so uh, why using only google that uh, you must say that this is Google, uh, we can't uh, doubt on that because uh, it is more and more profound company that has a lot of information, everyone use it. So we are only uh, using Google, there are uh, part of the Google, there are sites like Bing and uh, DuckDuckGo, this is a private website, so it will give you a private seat, right? So you can use also DuckDuckGo. So this is not a problem, only we show you the index and pages, what you're looking for in DuckDuckGo because they are, they are a lot prominently working on a privacy. So they will uh, look and uh, show you the pages they are, uh, they are also uh, indexed, right? So uh, let's look at So why Google Sapper so Science Summary? So information gathering, what information gathering is a greater part of precision of hacking and our higher system consists of gathering information without appropriate investigation. So, so this is a passive, uh, passive type of uh, information gathering, and I'll say, uh, I will tell you how to act you type of information you will get. So, what is there two types of information gathering? The passive type and the active type. So, passive type is that uh, without letting you know the directly. 
so a few is that you are go through the websites or go to the google and just search for any keyword whatever you want it and you just type it and you will get a, a exact certain data for information right so in the pages or directly on the, your web uh, page right so in the browser so what is the passive data so in in between the active uh, type of data you are interactive with the website like so in type of the passive you are not interacting with the website because uh, you're hidden something like a VPN or you may use a Kalinux or sometime uh, like uh, someone else uh, uh, like uh, not interacting directly so we look up to that all the things are right. so there are the bunch of the websites who we'll look up to the and uh, we can search for it and go for to travel some of the website so we will first the information gathering with the google is all about i am going to show you um uh, who is and then let's look how that crap dns report these are the some of the website let's jump to the practical so all right Just search for NS lookup or the first website you see just go it for who is also is dot who is dot il all right this sounds like not secure search for who is and this was oh what all right so here we have so if you wanted to search for a fact with uh, on certain kind of information you can go to the this all type so you just type in a host uh, nest local total uh, any type of server uh, any next domain or anything whatever and just query whatever and the server port timeout and it will give you the how in this look of the tools that provide the following demand to look up the information about all right so we are going for uh who is lookup ip so i'm going to show you an example just type in example.com and you get a certain reason so we have one website i don't know which where it goes to but i just how to use it for all right so example domain uh, is not well uh, what you say is this domain is not for use of straight examples document you may use the domain in literally without prior coordination or asking for permission all right so the other websites are right here this is insecure all right so what we have got here is a bunch of amount of information from the dns server so the registration so we what we got is update date where the website updated creation date when the website was created a registration date when the website was registered email phone number the most of amount of information which is um, uh, public that will be shown right here all right so you can use this who is that night and after that i'm going for netcraft this is mostly used in a little while so you just go and read source size search for dns site report you can go in for site report and here we have all right so i'm just gonna example uh oh just sorry example.com all right so here we go and just there are a bunch of amount of the information all right the sites so we are looking for example.com only uh, oh that's what it does Net. so hostname at example.com okay. site reports you can download the site reports what we have so here you got example.com site reports all right so you got a bunch of other example such reports example.com what do you have got let's say that uh, all right so date law first seen in december 995 an example net owner so you got a net owner you can go through it example.com and you got an ip address also all right so 
I'm just gonna let's hold. All right. So this is a company Verizon. You got AU. That is a hosting country. And the DNS is unknown, so you can look up through to some other website. You can get a DNS. So this DNS domain, you get org, IPv6 addresses for this website, and also this is trace route. So how the websites can from Google databases to servers to your digital routing. All right. So let me go down. All right. So let's see for next slide. So information gathering to Google. Uh, what are the stages of information gathering? Is gathering information, locating the network range, identifying active machines, finding open ports and application, detecting operating systems, fingerprinting services, mapping the network. So using Google Dark Search Operator. So we will use a information the Google Dark Search Operator. The part of this before. Uh, I'm gonna show you the one website that will fetch some of the email addresses from uh, any kind of website. So this is the one website, Dunter.il. All right. So if you have registered sign up, so this website will give a bunch amount of email addresses, uh, which is open or maybe public or maybe hidden from a certain kind of websites. So we'll look after the example. Example.com. Let's see. So, all right, so we don't got it that super for Tesla. All right, so here we go. Uh, so if you just uh, put, put it down, I click uh, some websites uh, domain and you got a bunch of uh, the email addresses related to the website. And you go to even redirect it to directly to the web uh, pages where the email address existed. All right, so you can take it for for your references, if you just sign up here, you will get uh, all the email addresses in, in your uh, right. So, so using Google Docs so search operator, let's see what we can do by Docs. So, this is uh, using the search operators. What are they? The operators of search of Google are consultation terms or symbols that carry out spatial actions. So, these operators will give be where you can look for in a quick size way offering additional control beyond the page demand search. So door search operator, what do we have? This quotation mark, in the quotation mark in between you will uh, use a certain keyword to uh, express some more literal. So example, you have got a coupon 2010, right? So asterisk for all salads and subtitles, words, uh, so you can unload this way to searches, right? So, example, Kukon and security conference, Kukon hacking. So, these are those some basic uh, operators how you can search for. So, or symbol is for pipe or a pipe, you can condition or indicate that you can now be simultaneous the word in which results or the search, but search on the one time and separate it will be specified operator or moment to trust that you should complete this approach all right so cook on or security comparison so you can just use a pipe uh, symbol also so operator infinite it's a uh, tilt it allows to look for synonyms of a term synonyms of the security so whatever the rest is synonyms for security but there's uh there are a lot of uh, hanging on to anything let me show you all right ranges number so you just intention mark any IP addresses you're just looking for you just type in there and you will get all related IP addresses. So this is all the bench amount that the direct search operator in anchor in text in title in URL link files like phone book info. So what are they looking for a certain information you are looking for? So look so in text so what in text is that uh, uh, if you are looking for a text format, so you just type in a keyword in text uh, colon or whatever the keyword you wanted to search for. So in title, what is the Google in title or any other website? So let me tell you what it is, so you can understand it better way. So I'm just going for search for example. All right. So this is a way uh, how Google will show you some amount of information. So Google, this is all kind of index pages, and this is the one topic that you are looking for. That the example, 
So what the index show is about is a literal website. Uh, here you have valid websites uh, which are www.webster.com and directory. So what is this? This is a website. So this is a website directory or this may be kind of domain, right? And this is a title of the website, a page, or the man, whatever. This is title you call in title. So if you are looking for in title like this, just discern exactly like this, you just type in in title in title example like this. So wherever the example will appear will be show you on the top of this website. Here you go. Just made in webster.com. Here you go. Example depending on example made in webster. See that got this to that. So everyone going for indexing. So inside if you just type inside so it will look for site related to example so like look this example so this is site is site inside example so in title in title also uh, represent this title the examples of sites this is one for it title and here you go you just got this first website is mirror title is the example all right so we are going for uh, much more about this so the first thing you should gonna with google is anchor in anchor see so if you use in anchor colon and whatever the keyword you want so it will only show the pages that have the keyword so in the text of, uh, of the link so the point to her based on the back links or external links so i will show you how anchor does work so there's certain information you just go for any websites and i will show you how to uh, get the uh, source code of the website just type control plus e you get the source code there is the anchor so i'm just gonna find the anchor let's see if we got okay here we go so there is anchor in between so here are the keywords anchor where the keywords so we just need to find out the where the keyword is so there's information a lot of information so here we go so here is the example the keyword this is the anchored keyword which will if you just uh, type in here that is uh, anchor just wait a minute in anchor example the same website will be goes for the top in anchor so there is example the keyword in this website page uh, in code right so you can just see that the crowd through the website so in this uh, there are a lot of information you can get by this anchor uh, code right so we are looking for most important and mostly fascinating information gathering from website like showdown.io and i will show you how you can access some vulnerable information from all over the world so and also a passwords and usernames from file containing let's see how you can use what we can find is the vulnerable products error messages file that needs this information also in the passwords username uh, information access pages access forms and well data vulnerabilities directory sensitive directory sensitive information requirements in backing devices only have available liberal files for liberal servers detection of web servers so this is a php version 4.4 one and this this is a one configuration uh, which is a vulnerable one file type this is a computer command you got it in your all just go that or plus text in text the php info you will get this part so uh, you can also crawl through local host using password now I'm going to show you uh, access data for user using password you know this all be going to show you in uh, exploit DB database Google in next uh, session all right and just keep him for it uh, file that contains passwords so here we have this password so XML this is the XML piece of the code that contain a password 
so how how i show you that uh, control plus u if you just type a back in code of any website you will get a lot of information that i already told you that so this is a more lot of information you can also crawl like this one just not already there we go so i just want to index uh, uh, any server any no all right just a php pal php i'm just going to type dot php login php and file type so i'm just gonna go for index uh, in in uh in title i'm going in title i'm going for password in url password so there is some websites that will show you upgrade all right so just one go for this dashboard all right so i don't need this just not one i'm looking for in url this in url one to lock site i'm just going to go for password all right so i'm gonna tell you how you can index this for so i'm going for a movie i just type a new index uh, called movie so there are a bunch of the websites will come and the first i'm choosing so this will be prompted directly or maybe not All right, just taking time. Oh, look like it's not going to show you. All right, so here we have some bunch of errors. This is directly directly TP. This is file transfer protocol we use, and you can also search for the complete file. Which is database file you can also get a password which is a hash and username also for this website you just type here in admin dot dot php if this website exists in php you get the admin panel and you can log in into it so all right so you can also get this lot of information from indexing movie whatever type you will get a bunch amount of the information from this website all right so next we will look up the, the how you will search for an uh, uh, showdown so some camera so we're going to get you some cameras on live or showdown you just go for showdown and just type password and here you got a bunch of modern website which is have existed publicly so you get some ip addresses and here the passwords some uh well let's see that if there is this is all header files from this website redacting all right password incorrect so you just look for all right some kind of error so you need to log in for most of the all right so i'm just gonna post cctv so you get a cctv camera just see that that counters do not let's see this one All right, so it's not working. We need a uh, all right so for this. We need a uh, admin. Just type in and never. All right, so it's not gonna work. One, two, three, four, five. So you need to try to be forcing this website to get access to this. So you can find out uh, much more the uh, public uh, uh, CCTV camera. There are 153, there are 1053 uh, total searches over the world. 
so there's a bunch of online brochure insurance and can show you so vulnerable website so just type vulnerable website all right so sorry and here you go it is a poor projects all right so you can just uh, and you go on from play directly to so the vulnerable website you can type and you will get the information what you can search for here is that if you just type your website and look up to that if, uh, if your website has been vulnerable anything or not with the people searches all over the world will be sure right here the example.com the wherever the prompt will get you will get a lot of information on this children also all right this is what is that so I am going to show you here uh, how you can get a CCTV camera, CCTV access Let's see if we get it So you just type on the access and you will get a secret at the camera access Right here, alright, so a bunch of our ones up, it's IP address You can just type in and you get a power to light camera all right here we go this is one light camera and you can just run us throughout this uh, this is how you can search that if your camera is open or public okay just type in index and whatever the camera you have CCTV about the camera's name whatever all right So looking for a code, a Google provides a simple way to find a vulnerability in the software through the Google code search. We can find vulnerability in the code sources. So this is the website, just write it and note down, uh, www.google.com, code search, slash code search, and if you just type and go for it, so this is how it looks like. If you wanted to search for a code, particular certain piece of the code, and you just type in here, and they show you the advanced code search, and the website containing this code. This is one fun one though to find the bug or vulnerability if this code is exists in the database of this your website on pages you can just count it out right here so this is a uh, execute query get parameter this is cross site scripting php code if this found your website is vulnerable to this uh, code as you can make get a uh, hack right so I'm going to go tell you some of the tools. These are the more information gathering, and these are the one GUI tools. So the first two is we have for GooseCan v1.0. It's a GooseCan is a tool that automatizes consultation towards Google, thought as a scam or CGR, and the communication is not made directly on the website. It is a Google Plus response features uh, developing C, and it's possible they have to be more direct. Automated search and can purchase terms the user Google. Alright, so go to the below uh, website and you just download these and you can scan this code automated securely. Alright, so we'll scan some of the information whatever you want it through the keywords. So this is a, a same like uh, site uh, exploit DB. So site digger is another tool. The site digger looks for and a cache of webs at Google to find a vulnerability, errors, configuration. By default, and another type of information related to the security of the website. Features are the most improved than the before with this website. Alright, so improve user interface, signature upgrade, and page results, APIs that Google doesn't require. So, the most of the APIs required to sign up for your information, they will collect uh, your IP, uh, right? So, your uh, Google, uh, email addresses, uh, phone numbers, uh, much amount. Alright, so this doesn't require uh, API. For searching or information gathering this may be uh, like uh, active oh, sorry pass to search all right it's information gathering so you can find a lot of information through the side digger also v3.0 requires microsoft.net framework the v uh, version 3.5 all right you just look for that your webs uh your all the configuration is updated side digger uh v3.0 so this also it looks like this uh, GUI I'm not installed like this so you can just type here in site domain if you install it you will see the site domain here and just type your 
uh, website if you wanted to scan for uh, any all right so you just scan it and you will get us a lot of query scan it's like your info also okay this is a much more likely Athena the next two is V version 2.0 it uses for XM over the searches again personalize it works uh works with the same way as maybe get a vape all right so compatibility with side digger modify files xml it doesn't ai use api so if you want an xml files to get a information report you can use it for it so requirement of microsoft dot my framework we're john 1.0 just remember that this is how it uh, gui look like Prominent dark is next to version 1.1.0. We're going to be carry all the physique and find the SQLI exercises cross as 15 LFI, RFI uh, to the Google. So, developing C sharp and license Juna. Multiple storage support for GHDB. That's what we're looking for GHDB that Google hacking databases uh, in the last section because uh, this is more prominent but important uh, website. Uh, you must uh, easy visit if you wanted to uh, search for hacking terms and the most of the file types i will show you that most of the things will be happen to gsdb all right so stay tuned this is more going to be interested in that session so recognize the capture so this is prominent dark return 1.1.0 it looks like this one so this is a CLI command use. It runs dark tools is that it's extensible platform that will use the easy to quick way through the context to all mean to use are more than 15 dorks. So you can also use this extension for Firefox add-on advanced dork. So if you want to do extension for Chrome also, you just search for dark for Chrome extension and you will get a lot of information also from there. There are more much or less dorks. So we are going for social engineering. So before this social engineering, I'm gonna show you this first website. Let's see in next session. So we are heading for main part of the old website that is all right, exploit db. Db. Yes. Yes, DB. All right, so you search for it, and this first website, exploitdb.com, you go for Google Hacking Databases. So this is the website. All right, and here you go. This is the main part we are looking for. So this one website, what we look for this website, uh, will travel through the whole database of the Google and search uh, and access certain reserve for you. So here we have first terms. I will show you that. You can search exploit dsdb google hacking databases uh, shell code search edb so if you wanted to use for edb for advanced searches you can use it for you can submit it also for your uh, context here online training it is all the stuff so we have the first 15 choices for quick which is uh, recently ordered by the author so we're going for first one so we want the php index php so this is a dark so you just copy that and go for search and you will get some of the website that related to the search in your all right you can get a bunch of more information right here my ticket if you want ticket open ticket and this i'm just going to show you that how it works All right, so we need a password for this message on the part. All right, so you can search it for exact how you can. I hope. Oh, oh, sorry, I got exact results right here. Just I just go for actually sing on it and just tick it. I directly go for dashboard. You see here, if I just type at home, this is a main website. Here you are. This is the main website. When you type that but without just scroll through all the website and all the stuff by this google doc you exactly prompt and jump on that exact result right there so this is the one use of the exploit databases right 
so you can use it for php uh, many other informations you just search for a quick search we're gonna show you what index in php power login login.php i'm gonna search it all right so here we have so admin admin letter talk login so this is all the file types your url entitled so i'm gonna use for pdf file all right so just gonna pdf file uh, so if you wanted to search for pdf just go italics at pdf the table there are a lot of information also you know all the government all right so i'm just going for uh pdf file this one i type uh here we cover just copy that and type it and search for it so you use this uh key i like so this keyword here the sites government sites if you want to search for in government sites or government sign up all the pdf these are all those pdf that you can download it and put it out there all right so i just wanted to cite for corona and so this government so if you just type the corona so whatever related corona or ss as inside that is a google government just extension look like there it is every website has a goal extension this is a sub uh, do, sorry domain subdomain uh, all right so, uh, science file log is a pdf so if you want a doc you can search for doc and we got the docs right here all right this is how it's working you can also search for passwords if you want a password from open from any website you start on password and here we go in title search for it yeah click the passwords so you will get a password so you can just go through all these x files or the whatever the files are there and you can find the password for this some of the websites to leak the password so this one website also wikileaks.org we show you the password list which are the leaked all right so you can go and throw out and you can search for a password for any website you want so there's another one vulnerable website password maybe you can search for wiki.moments right it's wikileaks.org and i go into all that deep. So this is how it is working in just quick searches. Also, if you wanted to filter it, you can filter it in category through web server detection, vulnerability files, from web server zero messages, and begin with the author type if you wanted to know uh, who is the author for that. All right. So this is for today.
the last one is this bonus point is that i'm going to tell you one website will give you a bunch amount of the information arcade already you might have heard that this is arcade or website which uh, uh store a lot of archive uh, websites from that time travel that time particular time so this is a wayback machine which you can use it for some data traveling so this is more important this is a very best website i found ever because it gives you a lot of information which never existed anywhere anywhere on the internet so this will give you a bunch of information also so it is a free and this is not copyrighted also so there may be copyright also i'm going to tell you that if you wanted to search for how amazon or maybe facebook looks like in 2010 2005 so I'm going for Amazon, how it was looks like in 2002. Amazon.com, it's server.com, and just click the below site. Any website you type here, there are archive files you can use. Word. So I'm going for 2002. Let's see if there is any archive file for Amazon. So I'm just choosing any time dilation where the archive file is archived. All right, so this will take a time respond the crowd on i'm just going to redirect it to this all right just wait for it here we have so you just look to hear that the amazon in 2002 had no any security there is no sctp yes so it is just sctp so you can look that so this is how amazon is to look like the website is used to look like this or it's pretty simple one you can search for books in 2000 it's a may obtain all right so taking time i say it's not going down all right this is a date may 10 of 2000 this is how this website used to look like it's a pretty good one i am going to show you some more about that you can also search for any website you want and uh, if you want a video books you can search for all books if there is open library you can use to download any website information you want all right so this is a bunch of all information they can have you can get access to all of those free of course all right this is the internet archive you can use it for yourself go through it